The Nintendo 64 marked a turning point for Nintendo, gaming, and pop culture. It was the first Nintendo console to sell less than its competitors, but also the device that closed off the millennium by introducing 3D gaming to mainstream audiences. Looking back, the Nintendo 64 didn't have a large run of games, hitting a measly mark of 296 release games in North America through its lifespan. That's less than 50% the number of games both the NES and SNES released. To look back at the N64's library today is to look back at one of the ugliest eras in gaming. The early 3D games with basic polygon models did not age well compared to the more charming 8-bit and 16-bit style of its predecessors. Nevertheless, after talking with the Nintendo community for years, here are what I deem to be the Nintendo 64's 64 best games, whether by design or nostalgia, broken down into 8 top 8 lists because symmetry matters. Here are the top 8 racing games for the platform. Ridge Racer 64 had everything the racing enthusiast could ask for. Arcade-like racing graphics, decent car selection, and of course drifting. This was the first entry in a franchise to land on a Nintendo platform and included tracks from the first two entries on the PlayStation, as well as an exclusive track. Not much more to say here, so moving on. Wipeout 64 is still to this day the only Wipeout title you'll find on a Nintendo platform. That wouldn't be such a shame if Nintendo provided fans with a bit more F-Zero love to feed that sci-fi racing appetite, but unfortunately we're still waiting in 2019. For those unfamiliar with the series, the racing mechanics found in Wipeout 64 include weapon pickups to blast your opponents, defend from attacks, or boost your ship. Excite Bike finally returned for the Nintendo 64 better than ever in full 3D. The tracks were filled with plenty of ramps to jump and obstacles to crash into. For fans of exploration in their racing games, there were a ton of shortcuts to be found in many of the tracks. Aside just standard racing, there were a bunch of minigames included for some alternate gameplay sessions. There was even an early form of Rocket League in this game. Diddy Kong Racing! Diddy Kong Racing continued Rare's streak of hits on the N64 with a unique racing game that had appeal to racing fans and more casual gamers. Players could choose between planes, cars, and hovercrafts to race in, all offering unique play mechanics. In a first for racing games, an open world hub was available for players to explore and select their levels. Racing had many similarities as Mario Kart, in which players pick up power-ups to help them in their race. Unique to Diddy Kong Racing were boss levels, where a player would take on a unique race against a boss with unique mechanics. Adventure Racing. Welcome. Beetle Adventure Racing was another racing game to come from EA, but this time giving way to a variety of cars in exchange for just one model, the Beetle. But what the game lacked in car diversity, it more than made up for with interesting and long racetracks filled with secret paths to uncover. Beware though, as not all secret paths are necessarily shortcuts. In fact, the game rewards you for finding these secrets by offering bonus points, as seen in the bottom left of the screen. There's also a bunch of crates everywhere that will give you a boost when you drive through them. Overall, it just made for a classic, fun game with enough to keep a player coming back to master the tracks. Two, one, An N64 racing list wouldn't be complete without mentioning F-Zero X, the sequel to the SNES classic F-Zero. The game followed Mario Kart 64 by about a year and pushed 3D racing to a new level with high-speed gameplay and a high-adrenaline soundtrack. The game's mechanics revolves around catching as many boosts on the track as possible to stay ahead of the competition. The game included all the modes you could ask for such as Grand Prix, Time Attack, Versus, Practice, and a Death Race where you need to force 29 other rivals to retire. Yeah, 29 because F-Zero X took the standard 12 racer format and amped that up to 30 as well. Probably one of the most, if not the most, iconic racer and game on the system, Mario Kart 64. I'd argue that Mario Kart 64 set the trend for all future kart racers. Sure, Super Mario Kart on the SNES came first, 
but once it made the leap to 3D, that's where the franchise really shined, setting the template for all future Mario Kart games in the franchise. To this day, the series is one of the biggest selling franchises for Nintendo. Where the game really shined, however, was in the new battle mode, which would pit friends against each other in an arena-style battle to knock each other's balloons in any way possible. Wave Race 64 was yet another first-party Nintendo game which this time focused on racing on jet skis and what an experience it was. There was just something so natural and satisfying about the game's physics to bop up and down in the water or that sense of rush you get when doing a sharp turn and skidding across the waves. Oddly enough, the game released prior to any other iconic racing game on the system, yet probably aged the best out of all of them. A sequel would be released on the GameCube, but to this day would be the final entry in the franchise. And that completes another set of top 8 games in my list of 64 best titles for the Nintendo 64. Were there any racing games I missed that would be on your top 8 list? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the best Nintendo 64 titles. Get in or get out.